Hi everyone, this is uh, Wilson from Wilson Sessions. Uh, just wanted to go ahead and uh, start doing a uh, new section for, it's going to be the Warwick uh, amplifiers that I'm going to be reviewing. First I'm going to start off with the combos and then later on I'll be able to move in through some of the bigger amplifiers. But right now I'm going to actually be starting off with the BC-20. I uh, just received it today. Um, it was pretty fast delivery. Probably it took about two days. And uh, I live in Maryland, and the uh, display store was out of Nashville. Uh, they were nice enough to let me borrow one of these for about a month. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it through the paces. And uh, so far, this is going to be what I got from it. Okay. Uh, right now, it has the uh, active um, input, passive input, uh, your bass, middle, treble, volume. Uh, it's pretty much cut and dry. It's got the uh, auxiliary port and then a headphone port. Now, um, I've just tried uh, using the auxiliary. The auxiliary works great. Uh, the headphone jack is real clear. It, uh, and of course, depending on the type of headphones you use, uh, you're going to get uh, a pretty good um, uh, reaction or a pretty good um, sound. Now with uh, the amplifier itself, I was very surprised because uh, right off the bat, uh, a usually like a 20 watt bass head or bass amplifier, uh, they're not really all that big and they usually are pretty cheaply made. So I was kind of, I didn't really have a, a very high expectation as far as when I got the amplifier, uh, but uh, I am so far am definitely digging this thing. Uh, it says 20 watts, but it definitely shines uh, when you take it past the zero marker on the uh, low, mid, and high. Uh, it's pretty, you know, standardized sound when you leave it obviously on the zeros. Um, but uh, as soon as you cross that uh, base threshold, probably to about plus two or three then you could definitely hear the difference in the bass amplifier. Um, it's also uh, a lot deeper uh, than some of the other amplifiers in its class. Let me see here if I can kind of, if you turn it to its side, let me get a good, better angle here. If you turn it to its side, it's actually pretty deep it's about the size of my forearm so looking at it in the front it doesn't really give you a very good perspective on it but uh, turn it back over here but uh, it's actually pretty deep and uh, that definitely pays off quite a bit I mean it's a slightly heavier than some of the other uh, amps in its class uh, but it's only pushing uh, about 20, almost 21 pounds, which isn't much at all as far as bass player is concerned. Um, but uh, the sound, that sound is what we're really, you know, looking for. I mean, yeah, um, weight's a little bit of an issue, but, you know, if you're a bass player, it's not an issue. Um, the, the grill on it, real sturdy. It's got an 8-inch um, Warwick custom speaker two inch high frequency horn. Uh, the bass has a reflex housing on it, which you can actually feel. Uh, the tone uh, seems to uh, vibrate a lot, it, it, not vibrate, but it seems to be fuller. You'll have a better actual tone coming out of this amplifier. Um, the rugged metal grill, it's a class A low noise preamp, which you can definitely hear. Um, when you're using this amplifier, you can you know, hit the bass, mid, and high uh, plus sevens all the way and crank it to about halfway or a little bit past halfway and you're not getting any buzz. Or you're not getting any kind of distortions or that weird kind of flappy noise. It's, it's pretty good about that. And I know they advertised it before with being a low noise preamp and people were kind of excited about it. But of course, you know, most bass players were not excited until we actually try it. Well, I've tried it and it works great. So I'm pretty impressed about that. Uh, the uh, Let me go ahead and turn this down here because um, there we go. 
so you don't have that blue light in your face. Uh, but it's got the uh, DDL, which is the Dynamic Distortion Limiter, uh, the uh, cooling by air circulation on the inside of the housing. Um, so far, I've been jamming on it for quite a while and haven't had any kind of problems with overheating. Um, I've already talked about the two inputs. Yeah, you can plug in a, a passive base and a active base at the same time. Use this as like a little practice amp backstage. Um, a bedroom amplifier is pretty good. Uh, but what I'll also recommend uh, for you guys that actually own the Warwick Alien bases, rock base or the regular, is this makes a great backup uh, for when you're going to some of those bigger gigs and you want to go ahead and use this as a monitor. Or if you want to just use this just to get a little bit more bottom end out of your base without having to overload your vehicle. Because you can plug one of these guys in and just put it next to a chair next to you and it just makes that bass sound so much fuller. Uh, and you don't have to worry about like being overpowered by the noise. And it's pretty, uh, like I said, it's only 20 pounds. So you just throw this in the back of your car, get to the gig, plug it in. If everybody else is wailing and the room's really loud, you can just put this over in the corner and it uh, doesn't draw too much attention and it just builds up that uh, that sound. So it's pretty good. Uh, well, I mean, not pretty good. I mean, I, I definitely really like it. But uh, as far as the acoustics go, this thing sounds it sounds clean and the, the bass doesn't sound... Uh, it doesn't sound flabby. It actually sounds like a tight bass sound. Uh, it definitely pushes well. Uh, the mid-range helps cut through, and the highs definitely help cut through, too. The only thing is, um, I think the highs go a little too far. Uh, but then again, I'm a low mid-range bass player, so I don't really do too much slapping or too much of that other stuff. But if you have like a music man or something like that, and you're trying to cut through everybody, at a low volume... This thing will definitely do it. So um, as long as you're not too brutal with it, and obviously it's it's a 20 watt amplifier. This isn't going to be something you're going to be, you know, taking the stages down with or anything like that. But uh, like I said, with um, a bedroom amp, uh, a backstage amp, um, a amp for uh, acoustic gigs is really great. Actually, you know what? Uh, I tried my uh, uh, Squire Telecaster on it and it sounds like a pretty decent guitar amp too obviously it's not going to have the same frequencies and everything else but if you're in a pickle and you only have room for one just take this damn thing because it's pretty badass um what else is there um let me um also um it has the auxiliary stereo out the uh mini jack for a connected mp3 cd player a lot of stuff Integrating headphones, amplifier, auxiliary signals for over headphones. Like I said, the the headphone is the headphone jack is pretty good. Like uh, I usually have some some Bose in there, so I actually have some decent headphones I can plug into this thing, and it sounds great. So uh, let me go ahead and give you a quick demo, and we're out of here, okay? And I'm playing today. It's going to be the four string Corvette passive fretless and uh, you know I'll just show you a little bit I'll go ahead right now I got it set um, right in the middle and I got uh, no treble on it and I'm just going to turn the bass up okay and it might help if I turn the amplifier on <laughs> oh yeah and the power supply I mean the uh, on switch is going to be in the back near the plug all the way to the bottom on the right side okay <laughs> Thank you. 
This is Wilson from Wilson Sessions. If you're not playing, you're not living. Bye.